Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Liza Levin and I am a board certified dermatologist here at Marmor Medical and we're going to talk about the five most important things for you to know to protect your skin this summer. So when my patients come in, I like to remind them to wear their sunscreen all over all summer long. Then we start to get some questions and these are the five that I get the most. The first question I get is the amount of sunscreen they should be wearing. For your face, we recommend that you wear a nickel sized amount for your entire face. And for your body, you actually should be wearing one ounce of sunscreen for your whole body. So to give you a demonstration, we have a shot glass here. This is how much sunscreen you need. And filled up, looks like this. So this is a full one ounce shot glass of everyday Supergoop sunscreen. And one of the questions I get is, even if I'm short or I'm tall, how much do I need? And you definitely need a minimum of one ounce for the entire body front and back. So the next question I get is why do we wear SPF 30 to 50? So SPF refers to the blockage of UVB rays and SPF 30 will actually protect you from 97% of those rays. SPF 50 will protect you from 98% of those rays. So a lot of patients will ask me if their foundation that has SPF 15 or SPF 20 in it, is that good enough? And the answer is honestly, we'd rather you wear more because the SPF 15 to 20 isn't really sufficient to give you the protections you need on a daily basis. Patients will also ask me if they should be wearing SPF 70 to 100 and if that's more effective. And the truth is, it gives you a false sense of security as to how strong that sunscreen is. 70 is not necessarily stronger than 50. It may last longer. However, you should be reapplying more often than that. So the next question I get is, what do I do in a day where I'm not in direct sunlight or I'm not on the beach? So a day where it's really cloudy, you're actually still gonna get 40% of that sun ray is gonna come through, so you can easily get burned on a cloudy day. Patients will also ask me, well, what if I'm inside most of the day? And even though you may be walking to and from the subway or to and from your car outside, the light actually comes through the window. So windows will block 99% of UVB rays, but you'll still get the UVA rays, which can cause photo damage and increase your risk of skin cancer. So it's important to be wearing broad spectrum, which includes both UVA and UVB radiation every single day. Supergoop has three great broad spectrum sunscreens that you can use for everyday sun protection. The first one I recommend is actually called Super Screen, and it's a great moisturizer to put underneath your makeup. The next option is called Unseen Sunscreen. It's invisible, goes great with different skin tones, and works as a primer for your makeup. The third option is called Mineral Matte Sunscreen. It comes in a universal tint. It's actually a physical mineral-based blocker, and it goes on really easily. The next question that I get is, is it okay to get a base tan? The truth is, there is no such thing as a safe base tan. Any amount of sun exposure can be damaging. And even if you're not getting red or sunburn, which actually usually comes from UVB radiation, the UVA can still cause that damage. And there's never a time where it's gonna be okay to get a lot of color. So if you're worried about getting that healthy summer glow, Supergoop has some really great options. One of the great ones that I like is called the Sun Defying Sunscreen Oil. This goes on great, has sun protection in it, and keeps your skin moisturized and glowing. The next option, is the glow stick. This works great on your face, also has sunscreen in it, and keeps you looking fresh. If you're looking for a sunless tanner, then I recommend Healthy Glow. It has SPF 40 in it, as well as a sunless tanner ingredient that can give you that summer glow that you're looking for. So the fifth and most important one that I want you to remember is when to reapply. We recommend that you reapply your sunscreen every two hours. The reason being is that sunscreen can actually break down with time, and if you're sweating or playing or rubbing any of your skin, it can actually be wiped off. So we need you to reapply every two hours to get the most protection. So a great way to reapply your sunscreen is with Defense Refresh Setting Mist. And what's great about this is you can actually spray it over your makeup or on your body to reapply when you're heading out for lunch. The next option for reapplication is Invincible Setting Powder. And this is great to powder on your face or any of those areas that you need to pick up a little bit of extra oil and while getting that mineral-based sun protection. So if you're looking for sunscreen to use at the beach, we recommend that you start with everyday sunscreen and you're gonna apply it to your whole body in that one ounce amount. When you go to reapply, we recommend that you use the antioxidant mist with vitamin C. If you're looking for a mineral-based sunscreen, you're gonna start with the play and apply it to your whole body and for reapplication, use the mineral mist 
and get those areas that you think you need extra protection. So those are my five tips for your summer sun protection. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.